Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing my 10 bullet journal tracker templates and the first one is my scattered tracker. The scattered one is just basically all your numbers scattered around and then you kind of choose a theme and you kind of go along with it and decorate all the numbers. Now I love this one because it's very simple. You can do it with anything, any theme that you really want especially if it's like floating or midair I think it works really well so I kind of just went with a little sparkler and heart theme and the way you track is you choose a color I use my Crayola super tip pen not pens markers excuse me and I kind of color them in as I go I haven't done this theme yet for a month but I kind of want to do it for next month or probably March I don't know yet but as you can see it's called the scattered tracker it's just because it's scattered all over the page I kind of went with kind of bright colors while I was doing this but, but of course you can use very light colors or pastel colors um, I kind of just wanted to see the difference of what it would look like the next one is my broken pieces tracker and I call it this because it's essentially one thing and you break it apart into parts now I just took this heart and I don't know why I was into hearts I think it's because it's almost February and I just have hearts in my mind but even that's not my theme for next month though because I already have it ready for you guys which will be uploaded to, on the 27th is that right that's that's next Saturday next Saturday I will post my plan with me for February and I'm actually planning two because I want to give you guys a more artistic one and a very min minimalistic one. So this one kind of falls under minimalistic because it's just a heart and you just break it up into however many pieces you want. And then of course you take your Corolla super tip marker and you color in as the days go by. Now remember you can do this with any tracker. Um, you can make it instead of, uh, I don't know, like a workout tracker or something. All of these work for anything. You just kind of have to make it your own. This next one that I'm doing is my simple tracker. This is essentially just the month and you track by coloring in the days. You can actually make outlines like in little squares or circles. I've seen it in many, many different ways. I could have gone with hearts or with um, squares. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. You just get to decide. This is just the format of it looking like the month. Next one is the horizontal tracker. This is just writing out basically one through whatever day the month ends, which next one will be 28, but I think I wrote 31 in this one. And you just divide it in a horizontal line and you write your numbers inside it. And as you go through the month, you color in with a Crayola Super Tip marker just so that you know that you've done what you wanted to do that day and I do that with these two lovely colors and yeah it's really simple I love this one as well I think I'm probably going to do this one next month because I do have a couple of things that I want to track this way and the next one is my expanding well I call it expanding but I don't know if that's what it should be um it's an expanding tracker because it's going from the center and expanding outward and this looks more of a sun, but I did did color it pink. So again, it's just so you can get a basic idea. I've seen a couple of people do this. You can put the numbers like I am doing right now, or you can leave them blank and just draw the number of days. So if I were tracking February, I would draw 28 lines and they would represent all the days. And if I colored over them with a marker then that means that I actually fulfilled what I wanted to do and then of course I just kind of doodled in the middle you can of course write what you're tracking inside there the next tracker is actually also very simple I kind of have a theme running with these and it's a seashell swirl so it's a swirl tracker you can draw any type of swirl that you want a rainbow or anything I just kind of ch chose a seashell because it reminded me of it and then same thing, you start from the middle and go all the way to the outside of the seashell or the swirl and you track what you're doing. And I did it again with my Crayola Super Tip markers. The next one is probably my favorite. It is the trail tracker because it literally sends you on a path. <laughs> 
Um, I started off with just a different theme. I went with under the sea <laughs> and I drew this little fish that I found on the internet and I drew little bubbles. Now the bubbles will represent each day and then again, same thing the with your super crayola oh my gosh i'm sorry with my <laughs> with my crayola super dip pens i went back and i colored them in this would represent that i had done what i set out to do through the month so it's just a fun little way to track things i guess because it kind of goes from the bottom to the top where you can choose to do just a little trail so that you can keep counting your days and making sure that you're actually doing whatever you're setting yourself to do very simple again, very easy, and I love it. It's my favorite. Next one is my growing tracker. This growing tracker I kind of developed from my theme from January, which was my red berries tree. But with this one, I didn't go with red berries. I actually went with little leaves that are growing because I feel like this one would be a good spring one since spring is coming up. And I'm really excited about it. Seriously, I cannot even tell you why. But I just think that this would be a really good one for March, you know, just to have on the side. Something that's like very simple. Each leaf would represent a day or you can make it into a flower or whatever you wish. All right. Next one is fill it up. Now this tracker is a little more artistic which is probably why <laughs> my more artistic part did not come out. <laughs> but um, I have seen a couple of these. Basically you take one shape that you want. I decided to do a little shake and you fill up whatever it is that you decided to fill. <laughs> Is that I'm no good at explaining, but um, essentially you just fill it up. So I would really recommend this with like water or workouts or something that you're just trying to make sure that you maximize a lot because you know that you will want to keep going and not skip any lines. And each day again is going to be represented by a stripe. And that's it. I mean, it's very simple and very easy. It Again, you can make it more elaborate and more artistic, but this is just another fancy one that I thought would be great. The next one that I have is my full page tracker, which is the most common tracker that there is. You literally just write your numbers between one to whatever the day end of the month is. And then on the left hand side, you write all your trackings. And this is a more universal and bigger um, tracker and I'm pretty sure that people have seen it a lot so I decided to include it because it is a tracker. All right guys and that is my 10 bullet journal trackers. This is my flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Remember I am posting every single Saturday at 9 o'clock and next week I will actually post on Saturday and Sunday for the plan with me that I have scheduled. So I will see you guys then. Have a great week and I will see you later. Bye!